So today we're going to Cancun, Mexico, um, and we're going to be taking you through, well, our kind of vacation. This is the girls' first trip out of the country. Um, I'm a little scared, but uh, let's do this. Let's do it. Oh my god. Okay, so we are on Frontier Airlines. Um, we're getting ready to board. We're going to be boarding in about five to ten minutes. And um, I hope you enjoy the flight. There's my dad and my little sister. She's having a rough time right now, but hoping she has a good time on vacation. But anyway, wish her luck. Hello, Daddy. Can we get a smile? There he is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, poor Lulu May. Hello. Okay, so we're in our hotel. It was a crazy ride. We had some trouble. Um, just get into the room, oh girlfriend. Open the door. Wait, 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 just wait, wait, touch wait, it to it. Scan it. No. Open it. Let's go. I'm scared. Okay. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> this is a big room. Okay, we got a very standard room. Because mommy room. wants quiet. That's the only okay. thing I care about. Okay, well, what are these? This is a, like a city view room. Oh, I don't know what this is. Oh my god, can we go outside? Mm. We can literally go outside. Go you outside. can go outside. There's a porch. Okay, can I? I want to go outside. Yeah, go ahead. I want to go outside too. Okay. Let's like walk across the park. Look at those two cuties. Arrival day. Hey, cuties. Hi. Hi. Let's go on the beach. Hi, Lulu May. Let's go on the beach. Feeling better? Lulu May. The beach is absolutely gorgeous. You'll see in later videos how stunningly aqua blue the water is, and it really is that color when you show up. What do you think, Elle? Fun. Very fun. What about this beach though? I am really excited, a little scared though. Oh, and what? So the boys and girls made it into the cold ocean. It was cold the first couple days we were there, and then it warmed up the last few days we were there. I would say January is honestly such a perfect time to go to Cancun. So now we'll take a panorama view of the hotel. We stayed at the Wyndham Ultra. I did a lot of reading up on venues and found that the Wyndham Ultra seemed really family friendly. You'll see there's lots to do here. It was good food, it was clean, all in a good experience. What'd you find? There are quite a few restaurants to choose from here at the hotel, and you'll notice I didn't get too many pictures of the food that we ate, my bad, but I can tell you a little bit about the experience. This is Casa de Rosa, which is the traditional Mexican restaurant, and there were quite a few good things we ate here. Matt, my husband, ate an amazing tasting burrito one of the nights. They were giving out chips and bean dip. The bean dip was like legit the best bean dip I've ever had in my life. Not everything was excellent, but we had a pretty good experience eating here. So it is the morning of day official one for our vacation in Cancun, Mexico. We are at the Wyndham Ultra. 
those are the girls going on their kids slides this is like the kids kind of pool area which is pretty nice there's a restaurant over here I don't remember which one this is but it's kind of like a I forgot what it's called but the shape the shape of the pool can't remember I'll figure it out clover clover pool and then inside of there is a bar like the lobby bar lounge bar area bunch of other rooms here and so let's go check out this kids area there's a lot to to see it looks like they're making friends girls are making friends which is great they need to have little kid friends but yep this is like a pirate ship area and then here's a littler kid pirate ship area and then this awesome slide which you're not allowed to go on as as an adult this is for the little kids but a great little slide and then back there is camp ultra i believe which is the kids camp i'll walk back there to show you so right here this is hashtag upstairs which is like the teenagers club and then this is Camp Ultra, which is for the kids. And then they have their own little play kind of splash area. It looks like outside of Camp Ultra. And here are some exciting things going on for the kids. That's awesome. What's up, girls? This is Addy, and you didn't know me, but Addy is my new friend, but sadly she has to go back to Oklahoma tomorrow. Well, enjoy your time together um, now. We might go on the beach together. <laughs> your days are super fun. Like I have to say, there were so many different cultures here in Cancun, Mexico. It wasn't just a bunch of Americans. There were Europeans, Latinos, people from Australia. It was awesome. Okay, bye people. I will be a little princess. Don't get wet. Where are they going? Where are they going? I don't know. Where are they going? I don't know. You're supposed to... I'm not watching them. The Hope they don't get princesses. lost forever. Oh, there's a place.
So now I'm going to take you for a nice little walk to check out a fun little taco shop on the beach with some traditional Mexican tacos. And my kids loved the chicken tikka tacos for lunch uh, most days of the trip. But well, let's go for a stroll together. You'll see I'm passing the bar area on my left and on the right is the beautiful beach. And then now we're approaching the taco shop called Salsa. So feel free to pause on the menu if you want to check out what they have. But they had fresh salsas and wonderful things to enjoy. And now I'm going to take you to see the bar area near the beach. But first, a little visit from a friend. This is Las Olas Beach Bar. There are some predetermined menus pasted on the wall, but you can really order whatever you want. 
They had all the liquors we wanted, including Appleton Estate, as well as I was on an absolute vodka kick because they didn't have my wonderful slow-paced high noons there. You'll see that that vodka got to me later in the trip, but that's okay. We had fun. Now I'm going to take you to the place where I had my favorite meal of the whole trip. I tend to like some more whole kind of foods, healthier foods. Well, not always, but I try. Anywho, this had by far the best meal. This place I'm taking you to, I don't even know that it's advertised, but it's right next to the main pool. And every day at lunch, they have different food going on. And it seems to be more traditional Mexican food. In this particular moment and day, I got their jerk chicken. You'll see, I will show you this amazing meal I had. There was coleslaw. There was this um, barbecued chicken. There was all sorts of sauces you could add to it, corn, etc. It was just, it hit the spot. It was delicious. Other days you can get like a mixed meat sort of option. Lots of great different food here. Hi. Well, I haven't had much time to record anything because we've been having to deal with children. Wednesday, so we've got Thursday and Friday, and then we go home Saturday. And Skrillex is playing right now. I love it. You're my favorite forever and always. But anywho, I've had a lot. Let's just say a lot of my new thing is now absolute vodka mango. And I just get a side of orange juice on ice. I'm feeling really good right now. It's like three-ish, three something. Anyway, I wanted to talk a little bit about this trip so far. What's good? What could use some work? I've got to be honest in that I'm glad the trip advisor reviews were legit. Um, you always have those people who are like, this nitpicky little thing was wrong or I had this issue at this point, but I have to tell you, like, first of all, you're in another country. We are Americans and Mexico, right? So it's not going to be just like America. And I understand that because I've been to other countries before and it's not the same, right? The food tastes a little different. Service is a little bit different, but I have to be honest in that so far, other than my kid's behavior, which is not the hotel's fault, nobody's fault, this has been legit great. You cannot beat this unbelievable ocean here in Cancun. Can you see it? If, if you can't see it now, I have probably have plenty of videos and photos of what the ocean is like here. There's a playroom for the kids. I call it the playroom, but it's a child care room, basically. You could put them in there all day if you wanted to. We don't. I, we let them look at the menu of options and they can kind of pick what they want to do throughout the day. I try to convince them to go to some things throughout the day. It's very safe. It's a lot of fun for them. My littlest one right now is in there making, what is she doing? She's making Play-Doh. She's making Play-Doh and she's also making a bouncy ball. Um, some of the food, not all of the food, some of the food is really excellent, but... There's a lot of food options, and you cannot beat the gorgeous weather. Everybody's in a good mood. You have unlimited drinks. It's fantastic. And here's Ellie. It's amazing. Can, can they watch me do a flip? I've been watching you do a flip. Okay, no, I want them to watch me. Yeah, I've been having them watch you. No, but I want to do one with my legs apart. Okay, she's going to do a flip with her legs apart because she discovered I'm actually recording things to go on YouTube. So I guess I have to be done now. So hopefully that's a good update. I would come back. I think we're coming back for sure. This is pretty legit. She's doing a flip. So some of us were pretty sunburned, 
aka me, maybe a little hungover, and we needed a change of scenery. The girls were getting crabby. We were kind of at each other's throats. So we decided to take a taxi from where our hotel was to La Isla Shopping Mall area, which includes this interactive aquarium. And it costs 10 US dollars to get there, 10 US dollars to get home to the hotel. You could walk there, but it's really hot in Cancun and we decided to take the taxi. So we spent some time walking around. It was like a very typical, what you would imagine an American outdoor shopping mall would be like. But I think the highlight of this experience was the aquarium. So obviously I'm showing you some really cute, adorable fish and the time that we had at the aquarium. I think it was worth it. The price for admission in January 2023 was $15 a person. It doesn't change if you have kids or whatever. It's $15 per person. I think it was worth it. It was a smaller aquarium, but really, really beautiful animals in that aquarium to see. You. I'm scared to touch them. It's very mushy. Well, those are their sucking cups. That's what they use to throw in the sand and get a touch. That's so cool. Yeah. Now I'm going to take you for a walkthrough of Ventanas, which is a restaurant that we frequented. It is open for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Dinner, they changed the menu. The night that we went was Italian night. It was typical Italian, nothing special, nothing great to be honest with you. But the breakfast here was my daughter Lulu's favorite. Um, they had so much to choose from and I'll show you that in a bit. So I'm gonna take this opportunity as I'm walking you through the giant buffet of food options we have at this location. I'm gonna tell you a little bit about our dining experiences here. Uh, so let's just start again with Ventanas. Like I mentioned earlier, open all three meals of the day. Today I'm walking you through their Italian night dinner. It was just fine, nothing great, like I said, but other nights they have other themed dinners. You'll see that I'm about to walk you through what they have set aside as food for kids, which is very typical chicken nuggets, you know, French fries, things like that. There was a pasta station there that evening, and you'll see a plethora of dessert options for from a candy bar for the kids to eat and adults as well can enjoy down to delicious looking like cakes and desserts. I didn't indulge too much, which is good. I definitely indulged on too much fettuccine Alfredo. So in talking of the, about the other restaurant options, I wanted to mention that Viaggio was a very pretty good Italian place. I loved their bruschetta. It wasn't like a typical American bruschetta, but it was delicious. It was very, very tasty. I also got the fettuccine Alfredo. We had good dining experiences there. The place I would not recommend going is the Asian place. We were quite frankly, pretty grossed out by the food there. I don't know what it is, but not great. Avoid it. Now I'll walk you through Ventana's for breakfast service, which is quite a big deal. This was again, Lulu's favorite place to go for breakfast. There was another breakfast option at the downstairs Azul, I think is what the place was called. We did go there once. It was good. It had most of the things that this place had. We just liked this place better. It seemed to have a little bit more. The only thing that 
Ventanas didn't have that the other place did have was hard boiled egg. So that was the only difference we really noticed. But this is the preferred place in my opinion. So obviously I'm going to walk you through their massive buffet of options. You can see fresh fruit, a nuts and seeds bar. You'll see my favorite omelet and egg making man towards the end. He did an excellent job. I fell in love with eggs over hard with some cheese on, kind of spread on them and melted. They have fresh fruits, they have smoothies, waffles, French toast, pancakes, and so, so much more. You can pretty much get whatever you want and make it into whatever breakfast you desire. Um, beyond coming to Ventanas, there was that other breakfast place, but there is also a coffee shop that is open. I believe it's open 24 seven, but we would go there in the morning. You can get a cappuccino, a latte, like whatever actual real coffee you want. Even if it's drip coffee, you can get it there. You can get the same thing at Ventanas as well. And there's also a bar if you want to start drinking. And I just want to end it on my favorite egg guy. He was great. Thank you for making me fall in love with eggs again. It's the last day and I have to say I got the Wyndham dance down. There's a specific Wyndham song and it's like right, 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 clap, left, 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 clap, 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 turn around, yeah. Our vacation is over and despite some of our familial fighting we had a really great time in Cancun I think we'll definitely be back we love this hotel in particular of course nothing's perfect but all in it was a great experience I hope that you were able to learn some things by watching this video thanks for watching our family vacation and until next time Cancun adios